Want to sideload IPA files permanently on your iOS device without worrying about revokes or blacklists? In this video, I'll show you how to create your own custom anti-revoke DNS configuration from scratch and sideload unlimited IPA without any computer. To create your own DNS profile, visit this website, which is NextDNS. Link will be in description. Once you are on the website, tap on Try It Now. If you do not have an account, then sign up for free. Having an account will save all your DNS settings. I have an account, so I will just log in with my Google account. Once logged into NextDNS, you will see a blank page with an option to create your first DNS profile. Next, tap on New, as shown on the video, and give any name, I will name it Super Scion. And then tap on Create. Next, on the menu bar, tap on this Deny List option. Here, we will add all the domains to block revocation and OTA update. Open a new tab and visit my website, which is techiebuff.com. Once you are on the website, on the menu bar, tap on the resources section. On your iPhone, the interface will be a bit different, so don't get confused. Scroll down until you find the Super Scion Next DNS. Here you will find some domains. And in future, you may also find more domains added to the list. Now just copy each domain, one by one, and paste it on the deny list. Adding all these into the deny list will basically block the Apple server from checking the status of the certificates. As you can see, I have added the first domain. Now let's add the other domains as well. One important note. By the end of the video, I will share some valuable points. If not followed, you will get blacklisted, or even get revoked for sure. Once all the domains are added successfully, tap on the Allow List tab, as shown on the video. Now go back to my website, and copy this domain, and paste the same in the Allow List. Guys if you are still with me, please subscribe to my channel, for more content like this, as a lot of hard work goes into making this video. One bonus tip. If you want to block the OTA software update, and prevent the iOS device from getting updated automatically, then just add this domain in the deny list. So this bonus tip is optional, you may or may not add as per your preference. In my case, I wish to block OTA update, so I will add the domain in the deny list. Next, tap on setup from the menu. You can even switch between new devices, like I switched to my iPhone, logged in. And on the setup page, scroll down until you find setup guide section, Make sure that iOS is selected, now tap on this link, to generate the configuration profile. Just tap on more options, and scroll down, and enable these two options. And finally tap on the download button, and allow to download the file. Next, head over to the settings app, and navigate to VPN and device management, and simply install the profile. It may even ask for your passcode, to confirm the changes. The DNS will set to next DNS automatically, which we created. But, never switch it to automatic. Now let's sideload eSign. Just head over to this website of Why So Furious, and tap on the download button. Tap on eSigns. And here you will find several certificates, try each certificate one by one, to see which one works for you. Let's tap on this second profile, and tap on install. When you get this pop-up. Let's check it out. As you can see the eSign is installed properly. Next, launch the settings app, navigate to VPN and device management and just trust the certificate. From iOS 18 onwards, you will be required to restart your device after trusting the certificate, so do not get confused. Now let's cover the valuable points for avoiding getting revoked or blacklisted. These are the points you must religiously follow. Once the certificate is trusted, you can go ahead and launch the eSign app. And now, once the eSign is installed properly, you must watch my next video on full eSign setup and how to sideload IPA file.